Getting to know the people and their country without sacrificing any comfort is the philosophy of Lerni Day's adventure tours. Excursions to villages along the Mekong are all part of the program. Here, passengers can learn something about the everyday lives of the Laotians. For many, this form of soft tourism has become an important source of income, allowing villagers to sell traditional wares such as handwoven silk scarves. The Mekong Sun, built in 2006, was the first ship offering cabins to cruise the northern Mekong. It navigates between the capital Vientian and the famous Golden Triangle. The atmosphere on board is comfortable and relaxed. There are only 14 cabins, so usually only smaller groups sail with the Mekong Sun. The crew is preparing the breakfast buffet. The food on board is a mix of international cuisine and local specialities. The generous breakfast on deck is the perfect start to the day. Savouring good food, laughing, talking, all while enjoying the unparalleled views of the Mekong scenery. An unforgettable holiday experience. Villages, fishing boats and temples drift by. The journey on the Mekong Sun is relaxing and adventurous at the same time. The countryside of southern Laos is mostly dominated by rice. Hidden amongst the rice fields is one of Laos' most important archaeological sites. The temple ruins of Vat Pu. The surviving structures date from Khmer times and are over 1,000 years old. The temples were originally dedicated to the Hindu god, Shiva. Today, they are an important Buddhist center of worship. Here in southern Laos, the smallest of Lerni Day's three passenger ships, the Mekong Islands, is underway. Passengers on this boutique ship explore the 4,000 Islands region for between four to six days. The ship was built in 2009 and is the most comfortable of its kind on this stretch of the Mekong River. The 11 cabins offer the perfect mixture of comfort and coziness. The Mekong becomes much broader in southern Laos and branches off into dozens of smaller tributaries, 
forming one of the most remote and beautiful river landscapes in the world. Twilight on the Mekong. The fishermen are hauling in their nets. The mother of waters sustains millions in Southeast Asia. A journey on this river is a magical experience. The sights and sounds of the Mekong will remain for a long time in the memories of those who have sailed its waters. <laughs> 